10 days ago, we had something significant in the Julian Assange, Seth Rich case. So we have Fox News invokes Hague Convention to request testimony by Julian Assange in the case brought by the family of Seth Rich. Order signed by U.S. Judge today. Fox News agrees to bear costs. They have some very interesting questions. Now, this is a large document. I will put the links to that tweet and this document in the description. So I'm just going to scroll down. The part I just want to read is the meat of it, and that's the questions they have. You could see there's a story behind it. This has been ongoing. So here are the questions. Fox News seeks testimony in response to the following specific questions. What was Mr. Assange's role, if any, in the establishment of WikiLeaks? Two, what was Mr. Assange's role, if any, in connection with the activities of WikiLeaks in 2016? Number three, in 2016 and 2017, what role, if any, did Mr. Assange have regarding the content of WikiLeaks' Twitter postings? Four, what was Mr. Assange's involvement, if any, in WikiLeaks' July 22nd, 2016 release of emails and documents from the Democratic National Committee, DNC, as referenced at http wikileaks.org slash dnc dash emails? Five, when were those emails and documents provided to WikiLeaks? Six, how did WikiLeaks obtain the DNC emails and documents? Seven, which individuals and or entities provided the DNC emails and documents to WikiLeaks? Eight, which individuals and or entities obtained those materials from the DNC? Nine, Describe any role played by Seth Rich, to your knowledge, in obtaining those materials and or providing them to WikiLeaks. 10. To your knowledge, has WikiLeaks ever offered a reward for information related to a murder that occurred in the United States other than in relation to the murder of Seth Rich? If so, on how many occasions? 11. Why did WikiLeaks provide a reward for information related to the murder of Seth Rich? 12. Has Mr. Assange ever communicated with Seth Rich in any manner? 13. If so, what was the content of the communications? 14. If Mr. Assange himself has not communicated with Seth Rich, is Mr. Assange aware as to whether any person affiliated with WikiLeaks ever communicated with Seth Rich in any manner. 15. If so, A. Who communicated with Seth Rich? And B. What, to Mr. Assange's knowledge, was the content of such communications? 16. Has Mr. Assange ever communicated in any manner with another member of the Rich family, including, but not limited to, Aaron Rich, Joel Rich, or Mary Rich? If so, what was the content of those communications? 18. To Mr. Assange's knowledge, has any other person affiliated with WikiLeaks ever communicated in any manner with a member of the Rich family? 19. If so, A. Who communicated with the Rich family? And B. What, to Mr. Assange's knowledge, was the content of such communications? 20. To Mr. Assange's knowledge, did any individuals and or entities affiliated with the Russian Federation, including, but not limited to, the FSB, SVR, GU or GRU, FSPSI, or any other intelligence service play any role in obtaining and or providing to WikiLeaks the 2016 DNC emails released by WikiLeaks. And then it goes through the procedures and then it has some addresses and signed, stamped, more information, background. And it just goes on and on. It's a really long document. So if you want to read this, the links will be below. These are pretty exciting questions. A lot of these are questions that should have been asked three, four years ago. We wouldn't have had to go through all the Russia collusion because somebody stole those emails and it wasn't Russians. It was an inside job. So this might be a really interesting article to read. I mean, it's this is the most I've seen written about Seth Rich. So anyway, thanks for watching. I finally kept one to five minutes. I'll see you in the next one.